I feel Yay. so blessed. Thank you, Yay. Julie. Hey, everyone. Welcome back to my channel. I have a special guest today. This is Valerie. This is my mother-in-law, and she's with us for the week. So I thought I'd take an opportunity to show you how I would do her makeup. We wanted to keep it nice and natural, fresh. She was looking for some new ideas for her foundation. One of the issues that Valerie is having is her foundation is just a touch light. She hasn't been out in the sun a lot lately, and she's used to seeing a touch of color, even though you wear sunscreen all the time. I do. So we cheated it up a little bit in a very natural way. We figured it out and it looks really beautiful. I'm so happy with the way this turned out. If you're new here, don't mind me. I'm not dressed up for this video, but the focus is on Valerie. I'm 52 years old. I'm a professional makeup artist, a licensed hairstylist. I dip into fashion a little bit and today we're doing this. So stick with us. Before we go on, hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell so you don't miss out on future videos. All the products that I use today will be listed in the description box for you. Now let's get on with the video. This is Valerie. This is my mother-in-law. She's here for a visit. I thought it'd be really nice to get you on here and play with your makeup. How blessed am I? We're gonna go through your skincare a little bit. We've got the Clarins Double Serum Hydric and Lipidic System. I got you onto this, didn't I? Yes, you did. And she brings samples with her. You've got the Clarins Super Restorative Day Cream. And what is it that you like about this? Moisture. And is it rich? It is, it is rich. So you have a drier skin. I have very dry skin, but I also like to buff with the Clarins Buffer Serum. Okay. How often do you do that? Oh, once a, every two weeks. Okay. As soon as I start to see a little buildup in my pores, off it goes. Okay. When we do skincare, to me that's the prep. I don't really use a primer. I would like your person who does your eyebrows to make them cooler. They're warm. There is one that I have, I'll send you a picture of it. I mix the gray with the light brown and it cools it. It's a little warm for you. You're more of a cool tone. I am, yes. Let's see, I'm gonna test it on your forehead first because that's really where we need it to. That's better. So that's the house labs. And then this one is Shiseido. Mm. We're gonna go with Shiseido. I agree with that. That matches. If you wanna feel the texture of this, as soon as you put it on my skin, you can tell the difference. Do you powder? If I was going out for dinner, which I do, I might, like particularly in Mexico where it's more humid, mm -hmm. like humid where I live. Right, so Valerie lives in British Columbia and it's a much drier climate in the summer. Oh, I really like this, I'm happy. I'm gonna try Natasha Denona and this is in N4. This is a Sigma F72. Look up for me. This concealer is really nice. It's hydrating, but it stays. Oh, that's nice. I like that a lot. Wow, that did a big job. Yeah, Real you quick. can see it. Yeah. The theory is, is that you're supposed to go a shade or two lighter than your skin, but not really. Because I'm matching this area to your skin here, it already looks lighter. I'm not gonna contour your face. I use the warmth to bring dimension to your face. Okay, this is Tower 28. That actually looks like it's gonna be good. Right in there, lightly. You don't need a lot. Really important around the hairline, this is going to stop the light from being so bright here and it's gonna bring the light into the center of the face. I'm gonna use my foundation brush and just tap around the edges and make sure it's all blended. So we don't wanna see a stop and a start. Right. This one is Patrick Ta, it's called Not Too Much. Again, once it's all on, then I can kind of diffuse the edges a little bit. And if you feel that you got too much, just go over it again with your foundation brush. Powder is by House Labs. I love this one. It never makes me look powdery. I'm gonna use a Refer 19. And in this area too, I like a little bit because we tend to touch our face. Do you do that when you're thinking or listening or? Yes, when probably. you're on the phone. Don't even know it. Yeah, so that kind of removes itself the fastest. And right in here. We don't want that shiny either. 
And whatever's left on my brush, I'm gonna tap underneath your eye, look up. I have to say your brushes are beautiful. Oh, they are, I know. They're so soft. Jane Iredell sent me these, and this is what we're gonna play with. I'm so excited, I love stick eyeshadows. Do you mind a little bit of shimmer? I don't ever put shimmer on my eyes because they're so wrinkly. Maybe I'm wrong about that. Yeah, you, yeah, you can you tell have, me. You can have a bit of shimmer. You tell me. Yeah, so I'm gonna put a little bit of shimmer on. This is called Moonstone. Let's try it. I can always take it off. Where are you putting it? On, on the your lid? Own. On the lid, oh. yeah. Let's see. Simple as that. What that's gonna do is keep everything in place. That will stay. Do you like that color? Yeah, I like that color. I'm going in with Makeup by Mario. See? I like the tone. Look up for me. Okay, and with an empty brush. There, let me see. Yeah, that softened it. I'm going to try out the Thrive Cosmetics Infinity Waterproof Eyeliner. And this is in the color Talia. Just gives you a nice thick lash line, really. It's not even being seen as an eyeliner. Mm -hmm. It just really creates a like. lash line, yeah. That's exactly right, creates a lash line. Do you find it hard doing liner? Mm -hmm. Particularly on my left eye. Yeah. I don't know when that went off. This is Lancome Hypnos Doll Lashes. That's right. And that's all we've done so far. That's right, since. <laughs> Saying how much I liked the wand. So now I'm gonna try, this is precisely my brow pencil, and this is number one. My goal is not to make them darker, I just want them a little fuller. Mm -hmm. But nothing that's gonna make you feel not like you. I'm just gonna soften your brow. And if you feel weird, let me know. Look at my hand. This was me trying to find a cool tone for Valerie. So basically following the line, but kind of filling it out. I'm gonna show you what it looks like and make sure you're okay with it. And it's really nice to run that spoolie through because if you ever get heavy and you just want it to look a bit more natural, that's all it takes is just to run that through and it's gonna mm -hmm. take some of that off. That's nice. Yeah. Just soften, so do you like your eyes? I do. I do, perfect. Pretty, eh? Yes, mm -hmm. I do this look. Doesn't look as nice as yours, but that is the look I prefer. Yeah, it's, it's just pretty. light and that's all you not need. too much. So right here, there's a little bit of a divot from this point to this point. Yes. So I'm just going to connect. When you connect these lines and kind of fill in those spaces, it's not distracting, they're just a smooth slope. Smooth, gentle slope. And then we're gonna brush that up. The hair naturally grows up, so we're just gonna make these gentle hair-like strokes. And again, if we ever get that too dark, we can just kind of run our finger over it and soften the edge a little bit. Really like the color. Is that a mechanical pencil? Yeah, it is. You don't have to sharpen it. My nemesis. The sharpening? No, the mechanical pencil. Oh, is it? How come? If you're traveling with them and you're not coming back for two months, you have no idea when they're gonna run out. It's gonna take two or three. But if I find one I like, I'll do it. That's perfect. And I'm gonna take a little bit of concealer just relax your brow. Right here you've got like a... Yes, I know that. And I usually put the concealer there before I do my brows. Mm -hmm. Where are you going? Oh, I'm just there. cleaning it all up. Oh, like, I see. Just making... Never thought about that. It all kind of cohesive. Do you put concealer all over the place? It's what? such a small amount. It's such a lovely idea. Let's go on with your blush now, and then we're gonna do lips. 
I used the Patrick Ta blush, did I not? I'm gonna top it with this one. Um, I think you've got enough that it won't be a problem. Well, the thing is, it's the first thing that we lose. Don't forget. So if I top it with a little bit of something, because I didn't powder that area, if I powder that area a little bit, then it will help it last longer. So then you've got the cream blush underneath and then you're topping Layers. it off with the yes. powder. Yes. So it should last just a little bit longer. That's great. And if we don't like it, we can change it. That's the thing. It's, it's always changeable. Beauty of makeup. It's not like hair, if you cut it off, you're... It's gone. <laughs> it's gone, yeah. And again, I'm gonna go over with my foundation brush. Gosh, it's like queen for a day. Pretty. I would like to take a little eyeshadow underneath your eye, just to give you a nice outline. Balance. Balance it out. Sometimes I put this blue if I've used it in the corners. Oh, that's pretty. That one is called Scene. It's funny because look at how similar they are in color. Valerie uses Scene from MAC, and look at how similar it is to the one that I used in Makeup by Mario. Do you want me to use that one or you want me to use Whatever you like. Let's use yours. So I'm using a Refer 03, see how small that is? Mm -hmm. Look up for me. That way I'm just getting right at the lash line. Again, creating a, just a frame really. Let's see. Pretty. Yeah. Look up. You can blink if you want, don't worry. Look forward. Nice. That is nice, Julie. Look up there. That's your stone, this is my stone. Well, or, wow. or the formula changed. Look at the difference. Hold on. That's Valerie's stone, and this is my stone. Maybe changed formulas, eh? This one is called Whirl, and it's by MAC. I see your lips as having a mauve, mauve. How do you say mauve? Mauve. I say mauve too. Okay, good. I see your lips having a mauve tone, so keeping in tune with that, the most natural look that you can get is something similar to your tone. So I'm gonna hold this for you. Mm -hmm. You see the difference? Mm -hmm. So it just complements your natural lip color mm -hmm. without changing it too much. Agreed. And that's really what my go-to is. If you wanna then change your mood, change your mood. But I feel like that stone, you're not pressing very hard. No. No, so. Barely. So, that tells me it's probably not the best. You like the tone of the cool, but this to me seems more suitable, something like that, because then you don't have to think about it. You can just, and when it wears off, it wears off very naturally. Although I do love, I've seen that on you and it looks very pretty, but you have to be so careful. And just cheating ever so slightly up a little bit. Mm -hmm. You got nice lips. Thank you. Actually, smile a bit for me. Yeah, that's pretty. And then we can just shade in ever so slightly, just so it doesn't give a stop and a start. I just want to top a little bit of bronzer right there. This is Sigma Matte Bronzer in Medium. You look gorgeous. Thank you for being Thank on my you. channel. I appreciate it so much. And I hope this helps everyone. I hope it gave you ideas of how you could do your makeup differently. If you like this video, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, share with all your friends, and we will see you later. Bye.